Well, a warning from police tonight. Someone has been scamming grandparents out of thousands of dollars. Yeah, we're talking about grandparents here. One victim told WUSA 9 they handed over more than $12,000 to the scammer. Megan Rivers spoke to police about how and why senior citizens are being tricked. They keep manipulating you. This grandmother is so nervous. She would only do this interview for detectives with Prince George's County Police. Her hands shaking as she describes of how she was scammed during a phone call into thinking she was helping a grandson in trouble. He said he was in an accident and he started crying. He said, I'm a good person. Uh, I don't want this to go on my record. This Lanham woman is in her 70s and the latest victim of what's being called the grandparent scam. And I said, OK, we have to call your parents. And he said, no, don't call them. I'll talk to them later. In a matter of minutes, scammers convinced her that her oldest grandson was being held in jail. They went as far as to having her speak to who she thought was his attorney. He explained that there had been an accident, that my grandson had been injured slightly. He was being held in jail. The bail was $12,500. Scared for her safety, she went to the bank and got the cash. The whole thing is that there is an urgency about it. They keep piling on what's happening. The scammer sent a person pretending to be a bail bondsman to pick up the money. Sergeant Andrea Sheehan with Prince George's County Police say scammers have upped their game in the last few years. When they make these phone calls, they already have your information. They have your name. They have your address. They have potentially your son or grandson's information. The most intriguing thing is, is they even have your net worth. Maryland State Police say they've had two instances where seniors were scammed this month alone, one getting away with $15,000. Sergeant Sheehan says if you get a sketchy call, try to stop for just a moment and think about what they're saying. If it's strange, hang up and call the relative they're pretending to be right away. She also says they tend to hone in on one area at a time. What it looks like to us is they're focusing on one particular location and then they'll move to another jurisdiction and it'll be another jurisdiction that's close by. And once the money is gone, getting it back is nearly impossible. As for this grandmother in Lanham, she's warning others to talk things over with family members before taking drastic actions. I was so obsessed with helping my grandson that he not have this on his record. And so I just went with the flow, basically. In Prince George's County, Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.